Hello guys and welcome to another episode of biology. Today we are going to be looking at animal nutrition. Okay, basically we are going to look at the carbohydrates today. Okay, but uh, before we do that, let us uh, uh, know that this tutorial is brought to you by the OT School Jam CBT Practice App. Okay, the app is for students who want to pass their exam at once. Okay, so if you want to pass your exam at once, you must have that app activated on your app on your phone for sure study. We'll talk about the app in a moment, but let us check a question from the application. This is a 2023 jam past question from the app. Number 10, it is being shown on your screen. It said, which of the following is the correct classification of carbohydrates? A says macronutrients, B say micronutrients, C say phytonutrients, D say lipid. Okay, so we'll come back to this question a many more as relate to what we are studying today from this application. Okay, so please ensure you download the app. All right, the app has all the past questions you need for exam, question search feature, classroom with lecture notes, mock challenges every time. All right, so please ensure you download and activate it. Okay, if I've been following all of our previous episodes, I know by now you know about the application. The, the activation fee is not up to the price of rice and chicken in the good restaurant right now. So I'm speaking. So please, you have to place your education, all right, above what frivolities. Get the application, succeed, pass the exam at once, and forget about the exam. So let us go to the uh, board. Let's talk about uh, animal nutrition today. Okay. So, uh, uh, basically, there are two types of nutrients that we have, all right? We have uh, what we call, what we call the macronutrients. Macronutrients. Okay. They also have what we call the micronutrients. Micronutrients, okay? So, these macronutrients, okay, they are the nutrients that we need in vast amounts, okay? That the nutrients that we need to take in higher what quantities in our body, okay? And the reason why we need to take them because what they are important for growth, okay? For example, they are like, like your carbohydrates, like your proteins, like your fats. Those ones they are my, macro what nutrients, all right? They, they we need them for what for energy, okay? We need them for what for growth. We need them for what for energy. So that's why they are what called macro what nutrients. Why these micronutrients are the nutrients that we do not take all the time, okay? We do not need them in has in, in vast amount like the macronutrients. Okay, example is uh, vitamins and minerals. Those are the example of micro what nutrients. Why these macronutrients? Carbohydrates, protein, fats. Okay, they are what the macro what nutrients. Why the micronutrients like what vitamins and minerals. So uh, unlike the Macronutrients, the micronutrients, uh, we do not need them in what, in, do not take them in high amounts, okay? But the macronutrients, they are needed because we need what? Energy, okay? We need to what? To grow, okay? Proteins, they are what? They are for growth, okay? They are bodybuilding food, okay? And they will have what? The energy giving foods, all right? So please take note of that. So these macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, okay, they are what macronutrients, the micronutrient examples are vitamins and minerals. Okay, so please take note of that and keep that at the back of your pocket. Okay, it's also important to know that um, uh, there are some foods, okay, that contain a lot of protein. Okay, there are some foods that contain a lot of proteins. Those ones, we call them the body building foods. Okay, those that contain what a lot of protein, Protein, okay. The, we call this one body building. Okay, we call them body or building food, or we call them growing food. Those one that what helps us what to grow. Okay, proteins are very very essential for growth. Okay, so we call them what the body building food, or we call them what the growing food. Okay, then also we also have a food that contain a lot of fats. And carbohydrates and perhaps maybe a little bit of what or protein. Okay, foods that contain a lot of carbohydrates, okay, and fats, but maybe with a little bit of what or protein. Those are that one we we'll call the energy giving, energy what giving what food, energy giving food. Okay, so those that help us what to grow. Okay, those are we'll called then the body building food. Those that help us, those, those ones that give us energy, like the carbohydrates and the fats. Okay, and maybe a little bit of protein. Protein, okay, we call those on what the energy was giving what food. Okay, so please take note of what of that. 
Now, uh, it's also important to note, we now have what, let's say, vitamins and minerals, okay? We have vitamins and minerals. Foods, foods in which uh, foods in which the most important nutrients are like vitamins and minerals. Foods in which the most important nutrients are like vitamins and minerals. Those ones are the ones we call protective food. We call those ones protective food okay protective sorry ah yeah all right those ones that contain vitamins and minerals so got them were protective of food like your vitamin c for those ones that are rich in your vitamin c like your tangerine okay like your broccoli and the likes okay those ones are all that protecting food they also to, to to it helps to build up to build our immunity okay against what infections and what and diseases okay those ones are called protective food so we we'll talk about bodybuilding foods like the proteins we we'll talk about energy giving foods like the carbohydrates and fats we we'll talk about protective foods like the vitamins okay and minerals please take note of that are very very important if they were not i would have told you so so now there are many classes of food basic basically several classes of classes of food that well we are going to both talk about when it comes to what animal nutrition several classes of food okay and of course an example is number one is what is carbohydrates okay we have carbohydrates we have what uh, proteins okay then we have what fats all right we have what uh vitamins we have minerals we have rough edges we have water okay so should i name, name them down and name them out is that necessary let us just see we have what your carbohydrates already here all right so we have proteins proteins okay we have your vitamins okay we have your minerals all right, we have your raw phages. Okay, sorry, raw phages. Okay, raw phages. They also have what your uh, which one is left? Protein, mineral, vitamins, raw phages. We have your water. Okay, and your carbohydrates. This one, that is what that is the seventh one. And your fats. Fats is not here also. So protein, vitamins, mineral, raw phages, fats, and what and water. Those are, are what our seven classes of food are going to be more look we'll look at when it comes to what animal nutrition. Those that in this class we are looking at what carbohydrates mainly, and then we are not going to talk about the tests for carbohydrates because in our chemistry class we have talked about the tests of carbohydrates in full details. So we are not going to talk about it at all in this class. All right. So in case you want to all learn more about it. Go to chemistry class and go and watch carbohydrates. I've talked, I've done all the full tests there. Okay, so even proteins also. I don't want to talk about what all those million tests, your bureau tests, or xanthoprotein uh, tests. I don't want to talk about them. Okay, and the test for carbohydrates. So we say carbohydrates have what the all the high functional group. Okay, and because of that, they can be uh, oxidized to what to carboxylic acids. We're not going to talk about any of them also. So please go and check the what the chemistry class for tests of carbohydrates and what and proteins so we are going to what run at what at a faster what speed we are not going to be repeating classes so it's your fault if you have not joined the the class in chemistry it's your problem all right we have we are done with that make sure you what you assess it what in the other what channel okay so now carbohydrates we say carbohydrate energy they are what they are energy giving foods right so we say they are referred to as energy giving foods and are needed in large amount by the body the body needs you need energy after a after a hard day's work, work okay you want you need to want to replenish what your energy so you need to what eat what foods that are what rich in energy foods that what give you energy so that is what carbohydrate that's what carbohydrate do so when you're taking carbohydrates their energy will give you for they give the body what energy they are fuel okay for the body f-u-e-l fuel okay so please take note of that they are what they are fuel for what for the body okay so their body what main source of fear okay so we here on the body now the body what main source of what of fear they give us what energy it energizes us Okay, so now we have what majorly four types of what uh, uh, carbohydrates are going to look at. And one of them is what is monosaccharides. Okay, these monosaccharides are the ones that we call the simple sugars. Okay, they are called simple sugars. They contain three to nine carbon atoms. And examples of what? Of this monosaccharide, of course, include what? Glucose. Okay, another example is what is fructose. Okay, we have ribose, all right, and then what we have what other examples. So monosaccharides, they are what they are called simple sugars. Take note of that. You may you can be asked which are the following, what type of what carbohydrate is called simple sugars. Correct answer they will be what monosaccharides. Okay, so they are referred to as simple sugars and they contain three to nine 
carbon what atoms they contain three to nine carbon atoms all right an example is what glucose fructose ribose and what and others now we also have what another class and that type rather right, we call what disaccharides all right so obviously they are formed by the combination of two or more simple sugars okay so when two or more simple sugars come together we we'll form what a disaccharide for example be a glucose and a fructose coming together okay or a glucose and a ribose or a fructose and a ribose coming together all right so when two simple sugars or two monosaccharides come together we we'll form what a disaccharide so we we'll say they are formed by the combination of two monosaccharides and the removal of one molecule of what of water okay so that is what for disaccharides all right now they have what the general formula of c 12 h22 that is for disaccharides they have the general formula of c12 h22 o11 okay this is the general formula for what for disaccharides okay they have what the general formula c12 h22 o11 okay please take note of that so they are formed by the combination of what of two or more simple sugars okay or what or monosaccharides and the removal of one molecule of water now let us also see examples of what of this what are uh, disaccharides okay an example is what is sucrose okay example of what of disaccharides one is sucrose sucrose Okay, we have another example, maltose. Okay, we also have what another example, uh, lactose. It's another example of what of what of a disaccharide. Okay, they are formed by the combination of two monosaccharides. Okay, for the sucrose, all right, it is formed when what uh, fructose and glucose come together. That is fructose plus what glucose. It gives us what this sucrose. Okay, so please take note of that. Also, uh, for this maltose, it is formed by the what by the coming together of glucose plus another what glucose. Okay, so when two uh, two glucose molecules come together, okay, it forms what a what a maltose. All right, when fructose plus glucose two monosaccharides come together, it gives us what this sucrose. Okay, so these are what disaccharides. That's how I say they are formed by the combination of two, okay, of two monosaccharides or two or two simple sugars and the removal of one molecule of water. All right, so please take note of what of that. Okay, we say the general formula is C twelve. H22O11. Take note of that. It's very, very important. C12, H22O11. Now, let us see the oligosaccharide. This oligosaccharide consists of what? Three to six units of simple sugars. Three to six units of simple what, sugars. An example is what is raffinose. Okay? They contain three to six units of what? Of simple sugar. Three to six units of simple sugar. Then we also have the last ones. Now, the ones who call the polysaccharides, the polysaccharides, all right? This one consists of large numbers of what of monosaccharides coming together, large numbers, okay? E.g., example is what is starch, another example is cellulose, another example is what is glycogen, okay? So when many thousands, this, these thousands, this large number can be thousands of what of monosaccharides coming together to give us what uh, polysaccharides, okay? The general formula for what for polysaccharide is C six H ten O five what n, okay? Where this n is what is the number of what of monosaccharides, which can be what many large number. This n is what is the large representing the large number of what of monosaccharides, okay? So this is. All you need to know about what are carbohydrates, okay? Then uh, we can we'll quickly talk about hydrolysis also. Hydrolysis of what of 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 carbohydrates, okay? So now, uh, hydrolysis means splitting by means of water. That means we are splitting using what water as what as a medium for what for that was splitting, okay? So uh, hydrolysis of what of this sort of of this carbohydrate is a process whereby what a polysaccharide, okay, or what a disaccharide is broken down what into what two what monosaccharides okay is broken down a polysaccharide or a disaccharide is broken down into what two what monosaccharides okay so in disaccharide we saw two mo uh, monosaccharide coming together to form a disaccharide okay so now that disaccharide that can be that's already formed can be broken down also into what two what monosaccharides so that is what we call what now hydrolysis we use what water to what to do this let us see example all right for example this sucrose we talk about can be broken down into fructose and glucose. Okay, sucrose. Okay, can be broken down into what now? Fructose and what? 
plus what now? Plus glucose. Okay? And of course, the enzyme that we use to achieve this is called what? Invertase. Invertase. And we say the process whereby sucrose is broken down into two monosaccharides like fructose and glucose is called inversion. Okay? All right? It changes what the direction. Okay? From what? From dextro rotatory to level rotatory. If our, our organic chemistry, uh, if, we, if we follow our organic chemistry classes, then of course you will understand that perfectly well. We'll talk about what from, uh, that's from isomerism. All right? All right? So let us. Let us not just beat around the bush. Go and watch our follow our chemistry what episodes. Okay, so that is what sucrose. Okay, sucrose will be broken down into what two what monosaccharides like called fructose and glucose. Okay, we use invertase to achieve what this and we call the reaction was inversion. It's an inversion what reaction. Now we also have another example like a maltose being broken down also maltose being broken down into glucose glucose plus another what glucose molecule okay the enzyme we use there is what is maltase okay maltase m-a-l-t-a-s-e okay so we use maltase to break down maltose into glucose and what and glucose they also also have what lactose lactose this one for lactose we use what lactase okay i'll break them into what glucose plus what galactose Okay, so that means that when galactose and water and glucose come together to we'll form lactose, when glucose and glucose come together, we'll get maltose. When fructose and glucose come together, we'll get sucrose. Okay, and of course, the reverse of what of that is what is the breaking down, which is the hydrolysis of what of what this what uh, of this carbohydrate. Okay, when sucrose okay uh, is being hydrolyzed what to fructose and water and glucose using what invertase. As what as the enzyme, okay? Where maltose is broken down into glucose and glucose using maltase, where lactose is broken down into glucose and galactose with what lactase, okay? So we are supposed to ordinarily now proceed to talk about what the test for simple sugars, okay, or for carbohydrates, but we will not because, like I have said earlier, we have done a great deal on this in our chemistry class. So please ensure you want you join our chemistry work class so you can what learn what better. All right, so now. Let us go to the O3 School Jam Submit Practice app. We'll take some questions, we'll answer them, and then we're done, done with this class. In the next class, we'll talk about what the next what class of what of food that we're going to what look at. So let us take our let open our app. All right, let us go to the questions we have. 2023 number 11, which we saw before. It says, which of the following is a is the correct classification of carbohydrates? Okay, we have said that what carbohydrates are what they are macro what nutrients. They are macro, not micro. Okay, because we need them what in high amounts. They are energy giving food. Okay, they are energy giving food. All right. So to, uh, together with all proteins also, which are body building food or growing food. All right, and fats also. Okay, we need them what in high amounts. So carbohydrate is what is a macro. Nutrients is a macro nutrient M A C R O, -O not M I C R O. -O. Micro is different from macro. Micro is what we're talking about vitamins and minerals. All right, so please take note of that. Very important. Now, let us see 2012 number 18. It says, Which of the following is a polysaccharide? All right, A say glucose, B say sucrose, C say maltose, D say cellulose. Okay, obviously, correct answer is option D cellulose. I think it's still on the board. Cellulose is an example of what of a polysaccharide. All right, so please, there are many other questions on this application. So please ensure you download the O3 School Jam app, activate it, and start practicing your way to success. All right, you do not have time. Uh, time is something you do not have the luxury of. So please maximize what your time and what start studying immediately. All right, my name is Master T. I'm the Grand Commander of this army. I would love to see you in the, in the next episode. Thank you for joining us. <music>